Okay, you guys, so as I build this system, I'm going to need some help from y'all too. So this is uh, just one of my panels, but the one that I'm needing help with is this one. So I'm creating pretty much a remote um, for each room and each device that I have. So what I have right now, this is just going to be the select button, and you should be able to hear my TV start in the back. Alrighty, so as you can see, like just hitting that select gives me a uh, send command for my remote option. And in that command, it sets. Let's hop into it. This is just one of those buttons that I have right here. So this whole little area. Oh, new subscriber. Thank you. PM. But this whole little node here is just my volume mute. And I just have a whole bunch of these buttons created over and over and over. And in each one, I just give it a different um, icon. And then I do a uh, call service action. It's going to be the remote harmony hub for me. What I'm looking at right now is this device number right here. So I wanted the power to create a variable to change that device number. Now, so far I have created the variable that can change its own state to the device number that I would need to have input right here. Just that, let's go over to my tester page. So this is what I'm saying. Where right here I have device at bar living room media. On the ones that I have that are actually working right now, I have device and then it's the actual number to the device from my Harmony Hub ID setup. What I want to be able to do is to have that number change depending on whatever the state of this var living room media is now so far i have it so that when like let's say sonos is selected on my uh, input state i get the readout of the number i just don't know how to get the state or the actual number be coded properly right here. So can I use a template, a data template, to define this device? Um, if you guys have any clue about what I'm talking about or any questions because you think you can help me get to that answer, please let me know. This will allow me to just make one set of buttons and then have that device number switch out depending on the um, the variable that's set. So if I just make one set of buttons for everything I need on my remote, and then I can get that device number to change depending on the variable state, I don't have to continuously over and over and over remake um, those buttons. But if you have any clue of what I'm talking about, please try to help me. If you don't have any clue what I'm talking about, um, then ask me for any kind of follow-up questions. I'm willing to help anybody who's willing to help me with this one right now. Thank you so much.